for McDonald on the or 31 saves for McDonald on the night and 30 for McLaren. The Wildcats actually got the edge in shots on goal, 34-30, right at the very end. Wildcats are going to shoot first. It's going to be Matt Warner going one-on-one with Liam McDonald. All right. Lists are in. Each team will get three shooters. And Warner goes first. Warner's got a beauty penalty shot goal already on that net in this building. Warner moves in, fires, and a kick save. Made by McDonald. McNeil will be the first shooter for Woodstock. So early advantage to the Slammers. Goalie is ready. Here comes McNeil. Taking the puck, breaks wide right. Now coming back into the middle. McNeil shot into the glove. Goalie's doing it so far. Brock McLeod, who hit the... McLeod, who hit the crossbar in the overtime, who get another chance in the shootout. And here comes McLeod, also breaking to the right. Back into the middle. McLeod fakes, shoots, and no dice. Taking up that pad is McDonald, makes the save for Woodstock. Darnall will get to be shooter number two for the Slammers. And Darnall starts with a lot of speed from way back in his own end. Darnall coming straight at the goaltender. Going to the backhand, and no! Darnall nearly lost it on himself. He was coming so fast. Went to the backhand, and he just could not get it over the outstretched leg. Brett Tidman, shooter number three for Valley. He's got two goals tonight. Can he win it in the shootout? Tidman, a little straighter than the others. Moving in, forehand, shoots, and scores! It's not officially a hat trick, but Tidman makes it three on the night. And the Slammers must score to extend the game. Toner will be shooter three. He's got to score to keep it going. And Toner's coming with some speed from the right side. Toner moves in. Can't get a shot away. Wildcats win it in a shootout. Four to three. 